Hey guys, Sean from Cross RC. Yes, it's been a while. I have, I'll be honest with you, there really hasn't been anything new and exciting to show you guys in quite a while. And gals, I'm not going to forget about you out there. I know there's some pretty hardcore RC girls out there, including, well, her. Um, the, so, <laughs> like the backdrop, I thought that was kind of appropriate. Grabbed the poster from the, uh, the store so I could throw that in the wall. I got some to look at besides a bare wall. And yes, I am sitting behind the camera so you don't have to look at my ugly mug. That way I can show you something up close. And what are we going to look at today? Well, you've probably seen it online. They've been for sale online for quite a while. Finally got them in stock at the store. They just actually came in today. I got them listed on the website. So if anybody is interested... We have the blue and the yellow Emo X. And let me tell you, this is a bit of a beast. Uh, a lot more impressive than I thought it was going to be. And we'll kind of go through front to back, kind of show you everything about it. Um, I have a battery so we can show you the light feature too because that's really slick. And then I'll pull the body off and we'll go over the chassis a little bit as well. So basically... Starting at the front, we all kind of know what kind of vehicle this is supposed to be. I mean, it's kind of obvious. Yes, it has the unibrow, but it does look really nice. Um, fully functioning LEDs, and you'll get to see all of them work here in a second, so that's pretty slick. A lot of detail in the body. Um, if you notice, it actually has hood latches, it's got door hinges, door handles, fuel door, the tailgate has hinges. There's this molded hood piece here, wipers, a snorkel, folding mirrors. I mean, a lot of detail in the body. Cage, full-size spare tire, a little bit of detail in the bed. Uh, these are actually just Lexan uh, flares, but they are painted, obviously. And then uh, rocker or uh, rock sliders on the side. So a lot of detail in the body, nice clear windows, driver figure, so that part's kind of nice. All the guys who like the scale, scale look with the driver figure, you've got that, yes, he's got a race helmet on. Could you change that? It actually looks like you probably could. It's hard to say. Uh, but like I said, full light kit on the interior. Cover that in a minute here. Um, the body is kind of slick the way it actually attaches. If you look underneath... The body posts are right here, here, and in the back, here and here. So, sorry, here and here. So it comes through, it's actually attached in the back via this, uh, looks to be like the tailgate hinges. And then in the front via the grill. So that's kind of slick. I'm pull the body off here and unlike the guys at the shop today who I'm, I was laughing at every time they pulled the body up they would forget to take the uh, wiring out and just about rip the wires out of it if you look inside fully wired for all your LEDs so there is tail lights like I said headlights there's even lights in the grill and as like I said you can see here the Driver figure is removable if you wanted to change something in there as well. But it is actually a heavy body, but I think given the size of the truck, that's not going to be a detriment. Looking at the chassis itself. Let me move that out of the way. Uh, guarantee within 10 seconds the cat's going to play in that. So, chassis mounted steering servo. Moving back, here's your battery tray. Nice big battery tray, but you can also run, this is a 2200 3S, so short pack. 20, uh, obviously 3 or 2S compatible. Full wheel wells, front and rear. Big aluminum braces on the top of the shock towers. The shocks themselves are full aluminum. See, there he is, there's the cat. Full aluminum, coiled over. Uh, with threaded uh, cat or threaded uh, adjusters. This one also has a servo for your front diff, 
for the to lock the front differential. There's a servo back here to lock the rear differential and a servo for the two-speed gearbox. Now I'll kind of show you how this all works with the radio system as well. Big motor, I think it's a uh, 560 size can motor. Uh, utilizes a hobby wing style speed control. Actually, I think it is a hobby wing 880, I think they call it. And for the first time, Cross actually has a receiver box to protect it from the elements. So big ups to them for that. Really nice to see them finally do that in one of their vehicles. The suspension itself, in the front, we have a three link, third link here, lower links, with a, I don't know if you can see it here, pitman arm. These are big beefy links too. I mean, these are probably five millimeter diameter links. The rear is a bit of a different setup. So the rear is a four link, lower and upper. Now the uppers are definitely a little bit smaller, probably four millimeter. But then it has this cross link in the back that as the vehicle moves up and down, you can see that if you can't you can see that link piece moving. So as one wheel goes up, it literally pulls the other side down. Kind of a neat setup. Really like that as well. Cat is trying to destroy the uh, body here. Um, also wanted to show you the radio. So a lot of you are familiar with the radios from Cross. This is the one for the Emo X. Some really neat carbon fiber accents on the radio. A little bit nicer look. Doesn't say Dumbo RC on it anymore. It says Cross RC. Kind of a neat radio system too. This is for your two speed. This is for your lights. And like I said, there's multiple functions for the lights. So I'll show you that. Kind of small, but it fits the hand well. And then back here you have your differ differential lock for the rear and your differential lock for the front. But overall, nice package, obviously 2.4, who isn't nowadays, pretty basic, but for what you need in this package for a ready to run vehicle, it works. So let's power it on. It does come with a Dean's connector from the factory. Nothing wrong with that. Get the transmitter turned on and, oops. Oh, I guess it was on. I swear those guys at the store can't turn anything off or turn it back on, right? All right, so body. And we will plug it in. And we were running this around the store. The, uh, <laughs> the owner took it upstairs and actually ran it on our indoor crawling course. So this one can't sell as a new vehicle anymore because they literally scratched the every living daylights out of the differentials underneath. So that's par for the course. Not going to worry about it. But nice responsive steering. Halos when you first uh, power the vehicle on. I think it has a memory where it remembers what you had it set at last time. I'm not sure, but this is where I had it when I powered it off this afternoon. And it's still still there so it may have a memory where it remembers that but one click on the radio system and now we have headlights and halos click again we have high beams and an integrated orange led in the grill i hope this isn't blinding you it's blinding me though click it again and they all flash you notice the orange uh, bar in the middle is alternating the flash pattern Kind of going back and forth now, alternating left and right. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, if there's anybody out there that suffers from phobias where you have flashing lights in your face, sorry. But it is kind of cool. And then one more click. You get a, just the headlight flashing with the orange bar. Click again, and we're back to the halos. It doesn't do tail light or brake lights. But if you power on the uh, regular headlights, you get tail lights. You get all three LED strips when the high beams are on. And then when it flashes, you get the tail lights that alternate flash, alternately flash as well. So that's pretty slick. 
and then we'll just kind of go back through the lighting sequence and we're back to the halos in the front. So, neat vehicle. I like it. I'm probably going to end up with one, maybe this one. Uh, but wanted to show them off. Again, they are live on the website right now. Uh, pricing on these as of March. Today's the 23rd, 2023. Wow. 32323. Three. That won't happen again for a while. Uh, is $599.99 for ready to run. All you need is a simple two cell or three cell lipo battery and you are ready to run with your Emo X. Uh, any questions at all, let me know in the comments below. Uh, again, it's been a while since I've done any videos, but this is not my full-time gig. Working at the store is my full-time gig. Cross is a full-time gig. Um, and there really, like I said, hasn't been anything new. Yes, the badges for the JT4 that are on the website, kind of a neat thing, but I didn't think it warranted its own video. And yes, there are some other really, really cool trucks coming up soon that we will have and you'll see them here maybe not see them here first i don't know why cross still doesn't send us stuff first before they send it to everybody else but so they get plastered all over the internet before we see it but it is what it is can't complain too loudly about it we still get to see cool stuff like this bring it to you guys and let you see it um but like i said emo x you know what I didn't do? I didn't compare size-wise to something of 10th scale to see what it's size like. Give me two seconds. I forgot I was going to do this. So. As a comparison, you've seen this truck before. This is my SP4 from Cross, 10 scale truck. There's the Emo X. So, definitely a pretty decent step up size wise. And I think it's really kind of cool if you look at it, it's the same tire. The uh, same, what is it? Uh, they call it a Talon now, but on here they were. What were they on the SP4 mud crawlers? But yeah, there's a pretty decent size comparison for you. This is just about the same size as, say, a, uh, a Traxxas TRX4 Sport. Maybe about the same size as an Axial um, Honcho. About the same size. But just so you can see the size difference and get an idea how big this thing is. It's not terribly heavy maybe it may be seven or eight pounds you know the entire box is pretty heavy but it's not that heavy but it does actually have some pretty decent weight to it actually maybe a little bit more than that maybe like nine pounds anyway i'm rambling you guys don't care about this you want to get to the website and order one i don't have very many of these in stock this was a let's bring a few in see how they sell and if they sell out quickly, we're going to order a ton more of them. So let me know what you guys think. Do you like the Emo X? Like I said, I'm not a fan of the Unibrow, but I do like it. It looks like it'd be a, a, a hoot to run. I've got some great tracks in this area to run a truck like this. And I just realized I forgot something else to show you. It has portal axles. Well, you saw that before when I flipped it over and showed you the bottom side, but yeah. Portal axles, and these are completely different from the uh, XT4 and JT4 AT4 axles. These are much, much bigger differential in the center instead of being slightly offset. But there we go. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again. Have a good one. Bye.